Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys some really important iPhone settings that I believe it's best that you turn off on your device immediately. Now, of course, alongside that, I will also tell you guys on why it is important that you configure these settings the right way. Now, before we get into the settings, make sure to smash the like button of this video. That's a way to help out this channel and of course, let this video do much, much better. All right, so we're starting with the personal hotspot. Now, when you go to the personal hotspot settings, you will see here a section that says maximize capability. Now, this will be a new option on the newer devices on the iPhone 12 series. Now, what this does is basically using the 2.4 gigahertz internet speed, but if you have like unlimited data and stuff like that, and you want to share your internet, let's say with your MacBook, you make sure you turn this off and that way you will use the five gigahertz speed with your personal hotspot. And that of course is much, much faster. So if you have this enabled your internet, of course, the connection will be capable to connect to more devices, but it will be slower. So that way, if you have a device that is capable to connect to five gigahertz internet, make sure you have this turned off. Now, one really important thing on iOS is, of course, notifications. I always suggest everyone should just take a close look at their notifications and see how they have them configured on their device because they will drain a lot of battery and use quite a lot of data. Now, what you need to do, go to settings, go to notifications, and then you will have serious suggestions. Now, you can see right here. This is a list of basically all the apps that I have installed on my device and I will receive notifications for serious suggestions for all these apps that will consume a ton of battery and of course a ton of data as well. What you can do here is of course, if you don't want to have any notifications at all from serious suggestions, you can turn it off here or just do that individually for any app that you want. A new setting on iOS 14 is of course the new picture in picture feature and now it has a section under the general settings. Now when you go here, you will have start picture in picture automatically. What this does, you probably have tried it. Once you go out of the app where you're playing a video, it will just automatically go to the picture in picture mode and display the video on your home screen. Now that might not be a good idea, of course, depending on what you're watching on your iPhone. So what I suggest you do is go ahead and turn this off. So whenever you want to use picture in picture, you can do just that automatically from the video player without having the video popping up on the home screen of your device, maybe even without your knowledge at all. Under the iMessage settings, there is a really important setting called text message forwarding. Now you can see right here, we'll have a list of devices that you have connected. These are of course the devices that you have connected through your Apple ID. Now what you can do here is just send any of your text to all of these devices as well. You can enable these from here. But what I suggest you do if you have other devices that you know you don't just use them personally not only you someone else uses them as well maybe like a laptop or an ipad around the house make sure you go ahead and turn them off right here because all of your messages will be sent to those devices that you maybe share with other people and of course you don't want your texts to go to other people's devices so make sure you go ahead and turn them off from here now when you go to your settings and you go to seller right here will have a list of all the apps that use your cellular data and of course the amount of data that they have used now if you scroll all the way down you will find here wi-fi assist and it will also tell you how much data that has used so basically once you're connected to like a weak wi-fi network automatically it will switch to seller mode and basically won't even interrupt you while you have a connection with the internet but what this does is of course consumes also data as well so this will be bad if you have like a limited plan and you don't want to consume that much data this will consume data maybe without you even knowing at all so what i suggest you do you go ahead and turn this off from here so when you're connected to a weak network on wi-fi you can just manually switch to your cellular data and you know exactly when you're using it and of course when you're consuming the data Next up, go to settings, go to privacy, and right here you will find files and folders. Now, when you go here, you will find a list of all the apps that actually have access to your files and folders. 
all of them. So what you can do is of course from here, go ahead and turn it off for any of the apps that you don't want to have on this list. Now just remember all the files that you have on the files app on your iOS device can be accessed by any of these apps that you have right here. So if you see an app that you don't know or you don't want to have any more access to your files, you go ahead and turn it off from here. A really important setting can be found here under Safari. So when you go to Safari, you will find here a tab that says preload top hit. So what this does is actually it will just preload like a website that is like the top hit. And of course that consumes data as well because you will have that site ready if you want to tap on it. That will be of course as it says preloaded and ready to go. Now again, you will find it right here if you have a limited data plan or you just don't want to consume a lot of data that will consume data because it will load the website that maybe you won't even open at all. So go ahead and turn it off right here from the settings of Safari, of course, under the settings app. On the notes app on iOS, you know that you can scan pictures, you can take pictures or even videos directly from the notes app. And of course, they're saved within the note from where you're taking them. But did you know that you can actually have those also saved on your camera roll and that's enabled by default here. If you go to settings, you will have saved to photos. So you're taking pictures or videos with the camera from the notes app. You will then have doubles of those one saved on the notes app one on the photos app you don't want that to happen because of course you don't want just like to lose a lot of space on your iphone having like doubles of pictures maybe scans or videos that you took with the notes app when you already have them saved on the notes app so make sure you go ahead and turn it off directly from here next up we're moving to the podcast app and right here is also a setting that i suggest everyone turns off Basically, this will download episodes that you save. So you save an episode, maybe to listen to it later, it will automatically be downloaded locally on your device and they take a lot of space. So you will find the setting right here, download when saving. So you go to settings, just find podcast and make sure you have the setting right here turned off. A new setting that Apple has more recently added to iOS is the ability to hide pictures with the hidden album. Now before you have the hidden photos on the hidden album, but the album was just there displaying right there on the photos app and anyone of course could see it. Now what you, once you go to the photos app, you will see the album right here. Here we have the hidden album. But when you go to settings and turn off that feature, you can see right there the hidden album is now gone. And now you have the photos hidden and the album hidden as well. So if you just want to hide them completely, make sure you go ahead and turn off the hidden album from the photo settings. Next up, we're going to the privacy settings. So you go to privacy and right here we'll find analytics and improvements. Now what you will find right here is a lot of stuff that basically will share things with Apple, like share your analytics. You will share you, like stuff like Siri dictation, share iCloud analytics, health and activity, improve health records, improve hand washing and all that stuff. That of course is good, but probably Apple will even improve these products without our help. So make sure you go ahead and turn most of these off that you know you don't need. And that of course will save a ton of battery on your device. Next up, we're moving under the privacy settings and we're going to location services. Now down here, you will find system services and these are all the system services that use the location of your device. Now, of course, you can take a look here and just disable some of those that you know you don't need. But what I'm talking about right here are these three things that actually will require your location and will actually use your location to improve the products of Apple, of course, I'm pretty sure Apple will do amazing products without our help. So make sure you go ahead and turn these off right here. A new feature that everyone loves on iOS 14 is of course the back tap feature. Now that's great and all, but I know a lot of people have set it up and don't actually use it at all. So if you don't use back tap, make sure you go ahead and turn it off because everything that it's 
active on your device and requires you to tap or like adjust or something is of course always on and it will require battery life and cpu power as well so if you're not using back tab but you have set it up make sure you go ahead and turn it off by going to the settings and go to back tap right here go to double tap or triple tap and just simply choose none right there and then you have it turned off and last but not least under accessibility go ahead and scroll all the way down go to siri right here and you will find always listen for hey you know the rest so basically this will be all the time on listening for the word expecting you to say the word even if your iphone is in your pocket or maybe on a table laying face down it will always stay up and always listen for that word that of course consumes a ton of battery and will require also cpu power so make sure you turn it off of course if you don't need it go ahead and do that directly from here so that's pretty much it for this video guys these are some really interesting and important settings that you should turn off on your iphone or running ios 14 i hope you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and subscribe for more and i will see you on the next one